Good morning, people watching at 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm up early. I have a follow-up appointment I have to go to. So let me give you a verse of scripture out of Luke 10, 16. And it says, He that heareth you, heareth me. He that despises you, despiseth me. And he that despises me, despises him that sent me. Talking about the Lord. So let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. You're rapture ready, <clears throat> which is going to happen at any time, and you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, and change you if you let him. So there is something happening right now, and um, this is not good at all. And that's why I titled it what I did. History is bound to repeat itself if you haven't learned from it in the past. And that's true. And that's what I'm seeing right now. Now, all this stuff didn't start happening until after this election. So that's telling me something right there. It's telling me a whole lot. There is a, and I said it last night, something is happening in this nation, but it looks like it's happening worldwide. Um... <clears throat> Now, I'm going to say this, and this is what was, <laughs> I am not one. I do not talk about dreams. I don't talk about visions. I don't talk about any of that because it's not me. And I'm going to put the disclaimer out there. If you're one that don't dream or have visions and you're saved, don't think you're not saved because you don't have them. Because you are still saved. Everybody don't have dreams and visions, okay? I, I very rarely have them. And when I do, I share them. And I never come on here and say, thus saith the Lord. The Lord told me this and the Lord, I did know. And when he talks to me, I will, <laughs> I will show you. And that's what happened today. I will share it with you. This thing that's happening in Germany right now is not good. Now I'm going to say this. Trump's election is good for the nation and the world, it looks like. Because he, things have been unleashed that has ne never been unleashed before. For the born-again believer who is looking at Christ and the born-again believer who is watching for the rapture, this is not good. This is not good at all. He's going to get some policies changed and sure, he's going to do some stuff and so forth. But as far as You know, like I said, as far as the nation is concerned, he's good for the nation. But something has been unleashed here. And it happened as soon as he was elected. Not, you know, as soon as he was elected and won this election. So, I'm going to read this article, and this is off of Fox. And it says, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu today asked his counterpart in the Netherlands to provide more security for Israelis after fans of, I think it's Maccabee Tel Aviv FC soccer team were attacked. So additionally, the Israeli Defense Forces said it would immediately deploy a rescue mission to Amsterdam led by the IDF's home front command according to the Times of Israel. So the Israeli Foreign Ministry said that up to 20 of his nationals were injured while seven others remained unreachable since the attacks. Speaking with Dutch Prime Minister Dick Schultz uh, after the attacks, Netanyahu said he takes the premeditated attacks seriously. He urged him to bolster security for Israelis in the country. Meanwhile, Israel is doing its own part to take care of its own in the Netherlands. 
Planes have been sent to the Netherlands to bring back Israelis, including those who were injured, according to the Times of Israel. They have also added more phone lines at the embassy and in the foreign ministry situation room. So Israel uh, President Isaac Herzog called Thursday's attack the most alarming thing to happen since October 7th. We woke up this morning to shocking images and videos of October 7th that we had hoped never to see again. Now, I, this is what I'm getting in my spirit. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say that. Again, I don't say this lightly and I don't say it. Uh, I never come on here and say, thus say it, Lord. That ain't me. That ain't my ministry. That ain't me. But there has been, it seems like a flurry of evil that has been unleashed on this nation. Now, the born again believer that's still here on the earth, we will be protected until we until we're gone. And this also tells me that the rapture is happening very soon. My thing to you all is to keep focused on Christ. Sure, I watch the news. I that is my ministry. <laughs> That's my forte. I watched the news and I related to in times. There's rockets coming in like on Israel like crazy right now. Um, I said it last night and I said, and I'm going to say this again. These nations are planning something before this man gets in. They're going to put their last digs in Israel and they're going to put their last digs in this, in, in this nation before this, before Trump gets inaugurated. Um, and again, I said this last night also, don't feel, don't let no one tell you that you're not saved if you voted for this man. That is asinine. And I don't know who started that crap, but it's wrong. That is not, that's a personal thing between you and God. You're not sinning if you don't vote and you're not sinning if you do vote. I think what's happened here, and I'm, I'm seeing this, is like I said, when he, as soon as he got elected, it's like a fury of evil has just been unleashed. Sure, we're protected and the church is still here until, you know, and, and this is if this amount is coming out now and we're still here. I can only imagine what's going to happen after the rapture. So, that's coming out about Amsterdam and then I got this off of um This is interesting. I got this off of a uh, telegram and it says that Trump's victory raises fears of Israel Iran clash before he can stop the wars. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Um says analysts warn both sides are likely to take even more risk in the dying days of the Bi Biden administration. It says that with the Middle East teetering on the brink of the re-election of Donald Trump to the U.S. presidency has raised fears of a renowned clash with Israel and Iran in the 10-week period leading up to his inauguration, despite him promising in his victory speech to stop wars. This is what I'm saying. This is what I meant by it don't matter who gets in. Spiritually, it don't matter who gets in. Because you can't fix this spiritual problem. No man or woman is going to be able to fix the spiritual problem. Now, as far as the world goes and as far as this nation goes, he's good for the nation. But not spiritually. No. Because like I said, there's been an, unf an influx of evil that has taken over. And you could feel it. That's why I'm watching the news and I'm watching from a spiritual standpoint. It's like 
principalities have been unleashed. Now, does that mean that we're not protected? No, it means that we are protected. We who are in the blood and watching for the Lord's return and are born again, we are protected. But unfortunately, the world isn't. Now, do I believe that Trump is the Antichrist? No, I don't. For the last time, the Antichrist, no. No, I don't believe that. What I do believe, and I'm going to say this, especially with him having Elon Musk on his team, is that they're going to usher in the Antichrist and they're going to introduce the world to the AC. That's what I believe. Do I care? No, because I'll be with the Lord at that point. And so will you if you're born again. Something else happened last night, too, that a lot of people um, are not aware of. The Houthis launched a missile at Israel's nuclear sites. Now, I'm getting this off a of telegram, and it says that earlier yesterday, sometime, or either this morning, the Houthis terrorist group in Yemen launched a ballistic missile towards Israel's uh, nuclear facility in Demona. The IDF intercepted the missile. But that goes to show you, even though they're talking, even though Iran is scared of Trump, of a Trump presidency, and even though they're talking big, they're still, as you can hear, they're still launching rockets over into Israel. So this thing is not going to, is not going to, they're going to get, it's going to anticipate, it's going to increase more until January. God only knows what's going to happen between now and January. But if the Lord is showing me this, then um, it's, pretty, it's pretty serious. It's pretty serious. Um, we just have to keep focused on him, on the Lord. Because with what happened in Germany, it, was, it should have been a wake-up call for a lot of people. And that was a soccer team, from what I'm hearing. From what I'm seeing, it was just a soccer team. Now, I got this last night also. Six, uh, the sixth most populated country has plunged into darkness as entire power grid collapsed. This is in Nigeria, in Africa. I got this yesterday. And the electrical grid in the country's capital city, as well as Lagos and uh, Kano, has collapsed after being hit with a partial disturbance that has left millions without power, according to the Transmission Company of Nigeria. Now, I don't know whether Venezuela's got some of their power back or not, but this... This is another eye-opening. It says the national grid has collapsed 10 times this year over there. However, due to the country's weak infrastructure, which we do have here in this nation as well, it's not as weak as theirs, but is weak nevertheless. Four thousand megawatts, which is not enough for a population of more than two hundred million people. That's insane. The country also gets 40,000 megawatts from gasoline-powered generators for households and businesses, according to uh, Nigeria's power, uh, Minister of Power. That's going to happen here. Regardless of Trump's uh, ability to get the nation back on track, which I said before, it's going to take, take a miracle. <laughs> with the way, with what this guy has done, it's going to take a miracle. Like I said, he's good for the nation, but not so much for us born again believers. Because we're seeing, I'm seeing stuff right now. People are worshiping this man. Okay? Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm Again, I'm not saying that he's the Antichrist. I'm not saying all that. But people did the same thing back in World War II. This is why history is bound to repeat itself. And when I saw that thing happen last night in Amsterdam, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to link the article from Fox News in the description box. And I will be back later. I have to leave right now because, like I said, I have an appointment. So I'll be back later. Thank you.